Guys, out of the four QBs still standing, please rank them one through four. Well, it's not one is already done. There's no need to even rank him, right? I mean, I don't know. Patrick, what you mean you don't know? Oh, I thought you were going a different direction because you usually Patrick go, Mahomes. Okay, yo, I thought you usually go Lamar. That's no, it. no, no, no. But see, here's where you and I are different. I don't look at Lamar. Lamar's in a separate box. He's not like Jared Goff and Brock Purdy and, and Justin Herbert. And all. He's his. He got. The, he's over there. I agree. He got his own little box, his own island. He's at the top of the. Penthouse. He's at the penthouse, like the one you got, the big one with all the glass. Oh, He's good. up there. And then all those other quarterbacks, but they just on the one floor. They on like the 10th floor. He got like two-story, 11 and 12. Mm-hmm. So he's over there. Patrick Mahomes is a more of a traditional quarterback that has the ability at times to move outside the pocket, get off his mark, and deliver the football. I'm going to put him at one, where Lamar gives us a little bit of both, right? Gives us some legs, gives us some arm, could, can account for 300 yards of total offense, a couple touchdowns, mm-hmm. where most of these quarterbacks, air, they're coming from the air. Right. Jared Goff's coming he from the go. air. Any All that. He from the so pocket. I would probably go, and this is, this will be. This will be controversial. This will be controversial. <laughs> this will be controversial. So I'm going to go one Holmes, two Jack, three Goff, and four Brock Purdy. That's controversial. Well, I mean, the first two ain't controversial, but. But the, the, you, you say that, and the reason I put him at four is because, well, it's kind of like even, because in order for Detroit to win, Jared Goff's got to play well. Right. But they also can run the football. Right. If Jared Goff gives the ball to the other team, they're probably going to lose. Right. So it's kind of the same thing. But it's kind of the same thing. But I I guess because of where Goff was drafted, and I've seen him in the Super Bowl before, Mm -hmm. and I've seen him, I put him ahead of Brock Purdy. Right. But that's, that's my point. Yeah, I put him ahead of Brock Purdy. Is that it's, it's nothing Brock Purdy has done on National Football League in the National Football League that tells you, well, he's he's going to be worse than Jared Goff in his But game. if I flip the two, can Brock Purdy do what Jared Goff has done for Detroit in Detroit? Because I think, personally, I think Jared Goff could do what Shanahan wants him to do in San Francisco. I, I would think he could do what Jared Goff is doing. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.